so you probably can't see much at the moment so I thought I'd show you the cluster and the lights that come on when the cluster's on and um, you can see a range of lights which will suddenly go off and I'm just going to just take the immobiliser off now the immobiliser's off the car should start there you go Various warning lights go off. It's a very simple cluster, the Mercia Largo. And that's that. When I was driving on the Isle of Man, where there is no designated speed limit, especially on the mountain sections of the road, I found that at first I was using third, but it didn't, the car just really wanted to do more, so I went into fourth and my maximum speed was, um, well my maximum speed at that time was about 117 miles per hour. I don't know what's going on, there's an event and the, and the car's been photographed. So we're here to an event which I didn't realise I was coming to. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay, let's go and see what's going on in, guys. Come on in. Oh, what, what are your names? I'm Cheryl. Kobe. I'm Rob. Okay, and Cheryl, what did you say about you like about the car? It's got a proper gear stick. Proper gear stick? Yes. yes. You can actually drive it <laughs> yeah. properly. Okay, so uh, have you sat in a Lamborghini? Yes. Oh, right. So maybe you don't want to sit in my Lamborghini. Would you like to? Yes. Please. Yeah? You sure? Yes, sure. Okay, let's, let's, yeah. get, let's get you in there. Let's get you in there. Let's go. So um, it's Kobe, did you say? Yeah. Okay, and who do you prefer, Ferrari or Lamborghini? Lamborghini. Oh, and why, why, why is that? Because it's more of an interesting car. Yeah. And do you think that... Um, have you sat in a Murcia Lago before? No. This is going to be your first Murcia Lago? Yeah. And uh, mum likes the gear stick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So should we see, do you want us to see how you're going to get in? Do you, all I can say is these things, um, so if you can keep off these, that's, that's the best thing because they're very difficult to uh, fix if they go, if they get broken. So st have a seat and... Uh... Oh, you, you got in like a pro. <laughs> do you think you can handle it? Yeah. Yeah? Have a feel of the gear stick. Can you move it? Yeah. Can, you sure? Try and wiggle it around. How does it feel? Cool. Can you see over the um, <laughs> uh, can you see over the dashboard? No. Okay, so there's a little cushion there. See what it gets see what it's got written on it. Lamborghini. It's got a Lamborghini. Do you know who I bought that cushion for? Who? My mum. She couldn't see over the uh, dashboard when I bought the car. So we had to uh yeah. Alright, well, you know. How does it feel compared if you sat in an Aventador? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is a, a, this is a lot more. Um, I think the Aventador interior is amazing. This is different, and um, you're sitting actually facing the actual centre of the car. You're not straight at all. So uh, have you felt the steering wheel? There's no buttons on it apart from the horn. No. Yeah, it's a it's a really um, good place. And see those buttons there. Okay, see so those buttons there. Yeah. See those buttons where it says Auto. Yeah. You do want to press that. That, do you know what that does? No. That's the suspension settings. So when I'm going on a country drive, I make the suspension really stiff and put it into number four. Oh. Yeah, you can press it if you want. Just get a feel of those buttons. Do you know which other model of Lamborghini those buttons were on? 
Diablo. Yeah, they're like Lotus Lamborghini, they reuse parts. So, all right. Do you think you can, how you, do you think you're an elegant, you're gonna come out? How are you gonna get out? Oh, look at this, he's got the smartest trainers on this guy. He's looking smart. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you. Thanks a lot for um, coming over to say hello to the Murcia Lago. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Guys. Thank you. Bye. So, uh, <laughs> Ellie, um, you know this car really well, don't you? We I've do got know Ellie. It extremely well. So, Ellie um, Hi, has helped me a lot with this car um, as part of the team. As you know, Lamborghini Burma, you've been watching some of the videos, they prepared the car for Salon Privé, which won runner up. And, Ellie, the event. You're looking great. You're going to see the Spice Thank Girls. You very much. I'm off to see the Spice Girls tonight in some leopard print like Mark. Yeah. Gonna go to scary stuff. I got my leopard print on early today. <laughs> very early, yeah. And we absolutely love the car. Oh, thank it you. Looks stunning. Thank you, thank you. Do you know, do you know I can't tell you a funny story. I didn't know there was an event today. You know I come from my morning coffee. No way. And um, I've just stumbled into an event. Oh, that's worked out perfectly. Well, We're very happy to have yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Anything going on at Lamborghini Birmingham um, regarding Hurricane Evo? Have you got your first Hurricane Evo in? Uh, inside. Inside, yeah, inside. I'll tell you to go and have a look at that. that. Um, yeah. In the brand new orange, so it looks absolutely yeah. stunning. It's going really well. Yeah. So. so, Ellie, um, you've driven every single Lamborghini, haven't you? From Except the, Mark's. Yeah, so you have to say, what's the difference between the V12s and the V10s? What's the biggest difference for you? Because you've driven them at Imola, correct? I have. You've driven them on the track, you've I driven have. them on the street. In Bahrain. In Bahrain, Bahrain. Yeah. yeah. What's the biggest difference between a V10 and V12 Lamborghini? So for me, the V10 is it's much easier. It's an easier car to drive, but it's still yeah. a super car. Yeah. The, a V12s have a lot more theatre, um, they're absolutely stunning, yeah. but with the single clutch gearbox you do, you can drive a V10 in automatic, whereas a V12 you would always use your manual gears. Yeah, so that's just, uh, you've got an expert here, she knows know so that. much detail <laughs> about the cars, all the nuances, um, and also she's brilliant at driving them. So, Great, thanks Ellie, thanks for your time and thanks no a lot for having Good me you in your random event. Um, if you need to borrow any leopard skin shirts at any time, I'll give I'll, you a call. Give me a call, all right. Cheers. So, a beautifully presented. So, how would you, this is a, is it a crepe or a pancake? It's what's, actually called a galette. A galette, yeah. okay. What, what's, a, what's, galette. A, what's, a, what's a galette? So, a galette is made of buckwheat flour, yeah. water, and sea salt. Okay, right, I didn't know any of this. Yeah. I'm learning, so that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Absolutely fantastic, thank you. Okay, guys, thanks a lot. Thank you. Brilliant, Cheers. brilliant. So, I'm just enjoying this lovely, um, it's called a galette, I think. And um, yeah, quite an interesting event. I wasn't expecting it today. And um, I'll see how um, take the drive back after this. And um, it's been a really nice day, really cool. So, it's just begun to rain, which is often a good time to leave. Uh, it's been a great day. Thanks for coming out today. Hope you hope had fun. It's good. Okay. Well, that was a real surprise. Um, it's not an event that. invited to actually so felt like a bit like I was hate crashing that one but I just came there for my coffee and all of a sudden there we go so perfect timing when it just begins to rain then it's time to get back it's just what I thought the timing's right about 10 past one it's that it's going to rain so there's some really lovely people here today and really lovely Really into the Mercy, really into Lamborghini, very, very kind people. And people who think have a lot of love in their heart. Quite interesting now, what's the Mercy Lago to drive if you like, like to drive in the rain? So I, I try not to drive the car in the rain, you know, help can take it out on the downfall, but you do get caught um, when it's raining. And the trick is just to be very smooth. And I think just don't be do anything too crazy. Um, so you won't see me doing really hard acceleration because the traction control on the Mercy Largo is not that good, um, to be honest with you. You're not compared to an Aventador. So you just have to be a little bit careful that you don't turn, put your foot down when the wheel is turned at a very, you know, um, acute angle. 
being driven today, the worst thing to do is not to drive the car and to get um, put off driving it because it is big, it is cumbersome, and a bit like Ellie said in that video, it's a lot of drama, a lot of theatre, and sometimes you're just not emotionally up for meeting people or meeting the general public um, the way I was doing today. But I'm generally quite, you know, I'm a, I think being a doctor, you, you, you know, you're I'm a people person, so it's, it's easy for me to engage with the public because I'm used to doing that on a day-to-day -day level. But, and you've always got to be careful about the supercar events, the police, and the, the police there. Gear change of the Bertilago is so smooth, it's really lovely, it's a lovely gearbox. I love changing gear, I just love it. It feels good to be back in the Mercy Lago. 